you see so far from your defensive players? <laughs> we got a good group. You know, I think we have a good chemistry. It's obviously still developing, but it's developing in the right way right now. Okay. Um, you have experience with the 3 4 and the 4 3. Um, have you ever made any decisions on what type of defense you're going to run? No, but we're a multiple defense. So, again, part of the evaluation here in the training camp, we want to, we want to make sure we're doing what, what fits our players and their, and their talents. How much of what kind of transition have you encountered with, you know, with taking over these guys? You've got a bunch of young guys, but what is that going to be for you? Is it going to be easier to introduce what you want to do because they are younger as opposed to guys who are used to one system or, in this case, several systems all the guys? I think so, Gary. You know, I think they're young and they're eager to learn. They obviously now see where the opportunity is. And that includes a lot of guys because we have a lot of competition in all the positions in that being D my linebacker secondary. So we've got a lot of good competition. Um, they're aware that there's great opportunity and they're going to play this year. Where have you really seen it easier or more difficult? It's always difficult, you know, with new language, new terms. I we try to be very detailed with them, which puts a lot on the players' plate. And, you know, when you're lining up against our offense on the other basis, you're, you know, you're having to get over a lot of different formation and looks. So it's, uh, that part of it is, is different. Have they picked up your system and language enough that you are uh, where you would like to be at this point? Well, I would always like to be ahead of where we are. That's you know, just how, how I feel, so to speak. Um, but I'm aware that they are ascending. They're getting better with that. They're getting better with the with the communication. But hey, it's first year. First year is always difficult, and it's it's going to be throughout the year where that that continues to grow and get better. We'd like to speed it up. Um, it's getting better. It needs to get. We, we need to relax the improvement. As much as football is, is understood across the board, why are there changes in terminology from one staff to another? Why wouldn't it have all been the same? Well, I think that uh, I can only I can only speak for me related a little bit to other coaches, but you know, a lot of us have been in different systems. And so maybe a younger coach that becomes a coordinator takes a little bit from this guy and a little bit from that guy that he really kind of relates to. So um, it's kind of fragmented. It's not a universal language, you know, so to speak. And I think it would be more true in the NFL. The language would be more similar in the NFL than it is in in college football. Can you, can you give an example of something that was called something else in the previous staff and what you called it without betraying staff? I don't, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's a common thing, right? Very common. Very common. And even so, there's something interesting about that, that a lot of players will relate to what they called it before as a quick learn to a new language. You don't want them to use that language, you want them to, to, to use our language, but they relate it to something that they did in the past. Same scheme, called something different, and you know, I quickly encourage them to get out of that world, but I, I understand it. Is there a risk of uh, trying to get them to absorb too much too soon in terms of new terminology, schematic changes, that sort of thing? Do you kind of do it gradually or not? Well, we throw quite a bit at them. Mm -hmm. and, and the coach has a real good uh, system of learning relative to, you know, we'll go back and we'll hit that again, and we'll hit to and install, and, 
particular front coverage pressure, whatever it might be. So they, they actually did it a couple of times. And if you look at the calendar year, you're looking at how many times are they getting that particular install, whether they're here in front of the coverage or pressure, how many times do they give it? By the time they're in training camp, you hope they're, they're hearing it for the third or fourth time in a new Typically, what's the learning curve? It's all different. It's interesting. It's a very interesting thing regarding the players. You know, you, it, it was true in pro ball, too. It's really all different. But the objective of the coach and the player is to speed the process up. So good coaching and hard work and focus work by the player becomes very important to, to grow the knowledge. They all call the defense aggressive. But to me, it seems like a defense should always be aggressive. So what is it about this style that you think they're equating or relating to that terminology, that phrasing versus others? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know the answer to that. Hopefully it comes from we're emphasizing the right things in terms of running the field, getting to the ball and doing those things. But you're right. I mean, every defense talks about being aggressive. And I think it's how you emphasize it, you know, kind of what you demand and where it goes. So we're, we're trying to do a good job of that with the players and they've brought in their well. Well, uh, to be honest with you, I thought that was a good thing. Um, not only because of off-season training and sights on that, the national champions, but uh, you, play, you play Alabama, they demand your best. It would be, uh, be interesting to see how they react. It's a very good football team, a well coach football team, a team that's been in the system for, for a long time. So, um, and I, think it's, I think it's forcing a, a special focus. I know they've got to be at their best. And uh, I find it, I find it you know, a good thing in, in the long run. Would your defensive personnel remind you of any of the previous defenses you've coordinated? Uh, it's a pretty good group. It's a pretty good group. It's a pretty good group. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We got, we got players. That, you know, they're going to be very good. And again, that process that we're talking about right now. It's just important that we continue to speed it up. But this is, this is a very talented group. They've also they got a little bit of chip on their shoulder after last season, giving up all the points they did. How do you let that be a positive thing and not let them get too caught up in emotions, things like that, when you're trying to be blitzing and getting after quarterback and stuff like that? Yeah, well, I haven't lived a game with them yet to really, you know, over-talk or overstate that. Issue, but I really don't. I really don't prefer. Uh, I wasn't here. And, uh, it wasn't a part of my experience. So I really don't refer to that. Yeah. Of that. Yeah. Sideways way to go. I just don't. Plus, been said, plus been said about defense against the run last year. Are you confident that's going to be better? And if so, why? Well, we got to get better. I mean, we've got to get better. Improving technique, keeping, improving the disciplines of run leverages and all those things. We've got to tackle well. So um, we, we've got to get better at it. And I can't relate to questions regarding last year. I just I was not here. So. Uh, and I know our particular group, we've got to get better. Did you familiar, familiarize yourself with the players through film work before you got them on the practice field this spring, or did you just say, I'm going to start cold and see what we've got? How'd you approach that? I'm, I'm sorry. So, well, did you familiarize yourself with the players on film before you saw them on the practice field oh, this yeah. spring? Did, oh, yeah. Uh, some coaches like to just start cold and, no. and make decisions. No, I, I, I evaluate them. A particular call might not carry whatever it was called a year ago. It may not be as important as I'm just evaluating kind of a talent level 
and then making a judgment. I see from a character standpoint as a player.